You know what the fuck is worse than heartbreak? What? When a loyal simp just moved on. Really? What the fuck? No! Because you need to come back here right now. Oh, God. Dating is a freaking disaster. It's not a place you actually want to be in your 50s. They all go for the younger women. So my dating puddle, even though I'm, I think I'm pretty smart and I'm not bad looking and I am as invisible to, I'd say 70% of the men. So it goes to show when women get older, it's their, their dating pool decreases. Time is on our side as men and time is not on women's side. If he cheated on you, would you want to know about it? Yes. Yes. I want to know. I want to know who she is. I want to know when did y'all do this? All this. Yes. Why? Why wouldn't I want to know? Well, what if you didn't know about it and you guys just continued being happy together? That's sneaky shit. <laughs> Look at this man. That's just real sneaky. I don't, I don't do sneaky stuff. Like, what do you mean by that? So you'd stay with him after that? Uh, we would talk about it. Like, yeah, I would be very, very mad. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say that I don't hold grudges. But if it's something that we can work out, then. I would rather work it out than to lose somebody that I really like love and see in my future just fucking go away over a cheating. You smart. You loyal. Like, if she cheated on you, would you want to know about it? Uh, yeah, I would. And then I'd be gone. City boy! City boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here getting a massage from Stink. Happy birthday, Daddy. What the f did you just say? I'm sorry, my lord. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for calling you Daddy because you are not my father. Emphasis on that. I am not your father. That's crazy to me. And you know what? I hate to hear it now. You're going to hate to hear it. You're a P4 now. No, my lord. Does Dow talk in the back? I'm sorry, my lord. <sighs> you are acting very strange. And, and, on, and on my birthday? Strawberry. Napkin. Fiji. Mm. The rush of regrets is hitting many modern women as as they realize what it truly means if men go away and mind their own business. Many feminist and independent women are used to men simping and licking their feet to get access, which is why they have gotten so confident to claim they don't need a man even in the presence of a masculine figure doing all the responsibilities in their life in hopes to be accepted one day. But something is happening all over. The moment that modern women wished for is becoming reality. Men have taken them seriously and are starting to walk away. They all think the ground is going to open up and swallow them. You could almost hear an echo of different voices. One was saying, no, we didn't mean it like that. We said it because it made us feel good about ourselves not that it was true. Another voice is saying, we were lied to. We were made to believe that we don't need men. We didn't have a chance to choose what we wanted. And there is yet another voice, screaming we never knew the presence of men in our lives meant so much in our life, until you guys started leaving us. Men, please come and be our savior again. This sounds like some screenplay, like some Shakespeare dialogue. But in reality, are these modern women not full of dramas? Many modern women have been constantly bombarded with falsehoods, such as you are a queen, you are a ten, and don't settle for less. Because of these falsehoods, they have struggled to find the ideal man. They all want a high-value man. So many modern women believe they deserve high-value men, which is why 97% of men are invisible to women, and why the dating scene is in disarray, because modern women are delusional. Because many women have the mindset of sheep, they blindly follow everything they come across on the internet. Because many contemporary women are products of their time, they follow celebrities who criticize men and preach about how strong and independent women should be. So you will find an unemployed lady in her 20s deciding to emulate a successful, self-sufficient female celebrity, which has made women more dominant because there was little resistance from men all along. Women clawing into power and seizing control in relationships is all because men have spinelessly surrendered their authority for mere scraps of sex and validation from women. It's sickening how men have allowed women to delude themselves into thinking they're the ultimate gatekeepers of pleasure, with their private parts as some sort of twisted superpower. And what's worse, men have actually affirmed this nonsense by groveling, paying, and resorting to all sorts of degrading tactics just to gain access. The phrase, broke men deserve no pussy, 
isn't just about money. It's about lacking the backbone to lead. You could be swimming in riches, but if you can't guide a woman, she'll gladly cheat on you with some worthless loser who knows how to manipulate her. I've seen it firsthand. Broke losers scoring easy sex while real men get trampled on. It's a disgrace. All of a sudden, the red pill became animated and started visiting every guy and touching them on the head. And many men started waking up and realizing that they had been treated with less respect for their values and contribution. They learnt that nice guys finish last and men stopped simping. Big shocker, isn't it? Women are panicking because there's no bestie to sob to when Chad kicks her to the curb. There's no sucker footing the bill and whisking her away to fancy places just to earn a shot at segs. And why? Because there's no man to fall back on, in case these players decide they've had enough fun and want to bail. It's infuriating. Women running wild, clueless and desperate, with no one to rein them in when their little games backfire. Pathetic. The worst thing about simping is that the simps never get to play. They stay on the outside of events for life, or until they are discarded when the real men come and take charge. And when men started walking away, they are worried that there is no backup, or 911 for them. Simping is a pathetic joke. Simps never gets a chance to play the game. They're condemned to linger on the fringes, forever excluded from the action, until they're tossed aside like yesterday's garbage when the real men swoop in to take charge. Women love the power trips, having the knowledge that they have complete control over a man's attention and resources. But now that men are finally waking up and walking away, they're trembling in fear, realizing there's no backup plan, no 911 to rescue them from their own arrogance and entitlement. The MGTOW movement is a godsend for men, because who in their right mind would want to keep dealing with the absolute nonsense served up by women these days? Just look at what happened with Will Smith. He dared to defend his own wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, from humiliation, and what did he get? Slapped with a 10-year ban from Academy events and millions down the drain. And what's even more infuriating, Jada dared to criticize him for it, claiming he overdid it. It's a stark reminder that men who can walk away from disrespect have their lives to save. It made my blood boil, witnessing men groveling and simping over women, only to discover that these women see it as some sort of prize to have a man wrapped around their finger. I couldn't help but imagine the utter misery these men must endure. Men simping is like stripping them of their dignity. It's like ripping a fish out of water, leaving them gasping for air in a world where they're stripped of authority and respect. They foolishly traded away their ego, bartering it for scraps of attention and validation. Women who've been showered with their simping start pondering their fate, realizing they've become dependent on the obedience of these sorry excuses for men. It's sickening. Simping should be condemned as a criminal offense. It's a situation that destroys men's lives and careers, squanders their precious time, and robs the world of another valuable man. Let women stew in their anxiety until they finally realize that they never should have been exposed to the sight of men downgrading themselves in the first place. It's infuriating that men are allowed to sink to such pathetic depths, sacrificing their dignity and self-respect at the altar of female validation. Enough is enough. It's time to put an end to this behavior once and for all. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.